Hey Adventure Kids, it is so great to see you this morning and I can't wait to share today's story and how much God loves you. Oh, hey Pascal, what's going on? Oh, hey Pastor Steve. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I promised two of my friends something and I'm not sure I can keep both of my promises. Oh, well that's a tough position to be in. Uh, tell me about your promises. Well, I pinky promised my friend Stuart that I'd help him work out today at 2 o'clock. He's trying to get big and buff like me. But I also pinky promised my other friend Mickey that I'd listen to a new song that he made. And it's at the exact same time. I don't know which promise to keep. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Pascal. I know it's really important to keep your promises, especially pinky promises. Well, did you know today's story is all about a very special promise from God? And the special thing about God is that he always keeps his promises. In fact, that's our Bible point for today. I'm glad God keeps his promises, but I feel terrible that I can't keep mine. Maybe I can learn something in today's story that will help me. That's a great idea, Pascal. So let's jump right into today's story and find out what happens. Adam and Eve had children, and their children had children. Instead of doing what God said was right, all those children did what they want all the time. Wow! Think about this for a minute. Do your parents let you do whatever you want? Probably not. Yet, God's children didn't do what God asked them to do. They just did what they wanted to do, whether it was right or wrong. Now, the whole world was in trouble. God was sad because of all the bad choices that people were making. God said, I will cover the world with water and I'll start over with one family. The people were making such bad choices. God wanted to start all over with one family. God chose Noah and his family. This was the one family that he wanted to start all over with again. God said to Noah, build a gigantic boat, an ark, and Noah obeyed. Now, this may not seem like such a big deal for God to ask this of Noah, but you should know that God is asking Noah to build a gigantic boat right in the middle of a desert. I'm sure Noah looked pretty crazy to his friends, but Noah did what God told him to do. What would you do if God told you to do something that sounded a bit crazy? God told Noah to put two of each kind of animal in the ark. Okay, imagine this. Not only did God ask Noah to build a gigantic boat in the middle of the desert, he then asked Noah to put two of each kind of animal in that ark. How do you think Noah did that? Well, I think God told him how to do it. Noah had to listen very carefully to everything that God told him what to do. So in went lions and lizards, beavers and bears, dogs and monkeys, and all kinds of other animals too. Hmm. How stinky do you think that ark smelled? What's the best season to jump on a trampoline? The springtime. <laughs> what do elephants wear swimming? They're swimming trunks. That there was funny. Why did the pony go to the doctor? Because he was a little horse. Made you laugh. Upward out. Peace. Okay, imagine this. Not only did God ask Noah to build a gigantic boat in the middle of the desert, he then asked Noah to put two of each kind of animal in that ark. How do you think Noah did that? Well, I think God told him how to do it. Noah had to listen very carefully to everything that God told him what to do. So in went lions and lizards, beavers and bears, dogs and monkeys, and all kinds of other animals too. Hmm, how stinky do you think that ark smelled? And do you think it was noisy? Then, God told Noah's family to get inside the ark. 
God found Noah and his family to be the only ones that were living righteously at that time. And check this out. The Bible says that Noah was 600 years old when the floodwaters came on the earth. Well, at last, God shut the door. The rains came, a flood came, it rained 40 days and nights. Water was everywhere. But God didn't forget about Noah, his family, and the animals. God remembered. He kept Noah safe in the ark. What do you think Noah was thinking in the ark when it rained for 40 days and nights? Finally, God made the rain stop. All the water drained away. Slurp. The flood was gone. God made a promise to Noah. I will never flood the whole world again. Hooray! God always keeps his promises. Look at the sky. What do you see? It's a rainbow. Do you know the colors of the rainbow that God put in the sky? The colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. God put this rainbow in the sky to help Noah remember God's promise. What a beautiful reminder of his promise to Noah. Even today, you and I can look in the sky after rain and see that promise that God made to Noah so many, many years ago. That promise that he made Noah is also to you and me. Can you remember some of God's promises? God promised to keep his children safe with Jesus, just like Noah and his family were safe in the ark. And that's our story. Wow, that's amazing. It's so awesome to know that God always keeps his promises. I can always rely on God, but I still feel bad that I'm gonna have to let down one of my friends. Oh, well, what if there was a way for you to keep both promises, Pascal? Maybe you could meet up with Stuart and work out with him, and at the same time, Mickey could join you, and you could listen to his new song. That's a great idea! In fact, you know, I think that will really help Stuart, because Mickey's new song is really upbeat, and it has lots of bass in it. It should help Stuart get really pumped up. Oh, awesome! By the way, what's the name of Mickey's new song? All about that breed. <laughs> All right. Have an adventurous week, everyone. kids this is the part of the show where you send in your questions to me jake and i answer them so let me grab my mailbag hi jake i'm just a kid and it seems like just grown-ups serve at church what can i be doing from Jaden? that is an awesome question and what i want you to know is that there's things that kids can be doing to serve too god has given every one of us unique gifts and skills that we can use to help share god's love with others and being a kid is a great time to discover those gifts. If you're really interested in serving or have an idea how to serve, you can always talk to Pastor Steve. And church isn't the only place you can serve. Talk to your parents about how you might be able to serve in your neighborhood or community. Awesome question. Hi Jake, can you do the blindfold challenge from Jovi? That is an awesome question. Let's find out. All right, so this next challenge, this challenge is the, uh, the blindfold challenge. And I'm gonna give Jake some different objects. He can hold them in his hand and he's gonna see if he can figure out what they are. Here's the first one. Oh. oh, this is a, a saw. Yeah, good, good, got one right. Rubber duck? No. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Yeah. Little people thing. It's like a like a cow or something. <laughs> Close. It's an animal. Yeah. Speak. Uh, a lion? Yeah. <laughs> Great one. Great guess. Show show everybody.
<laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a zucchini? No. Uh, like a pickle? <laughs> no. Oh, a uh, banana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great job. All right, you can take the mask off. That was the blindfold challenge. That'd be a fun one you can do at home as well. Have an adventurous week, everyone. So if you have a question for me, Jake, wait. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website, takeawaywithjake.com, and just, just play it. Ugh, so remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, send in, send it, send it in. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website, takeawaywithjake.com, and I'll be happy. <laughs> so remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website, takeawaywithjake.com, and I'll be happy to answer your question right here on the show.